Something fishy is going on. Eta Freya's two remotely operated vehicles are working a thousand feet below the surface. At least, they're trying to. The fish are attracted by the ROV's lights. Yeah, it's a big problem. With limited visibility, ROV pilots Jan Freste and Martin Lerdahl must be careful not to tangle within each other's tethers. We don't have the view we love to have because we cannot see what we do so good, so we have to be quite careful what we're doing. Okay, uh, ROV, if you want to get set up under the instruction. The ROVs are agile undersea vehicles, but the tethers that act as their lifelines are only twice as thick as a garden hose. The tether delivers electric and hydraulic power to the ROV, turning on its lights, driving its thrusters, and enabling the pilots to operate its arms. In return, the tether delivers high-definition video to the pilots in the ROV control room on board the ship. We're going over your tether instead. It's easier. Jan is the pilot of the ROV code named C6. We will supply them with communication. Martin is piloting C5. I was crossing C5's tether, so I have to go and clear my tether so I don't come in conflict later in the operation. That skinny yellow-green cable is the other sub's life support. You see here is the tether for C5, and we have to go on the right side again, so we don't get in conflict. One false move, and it's literally lights out. 